<laughs> Hello everyone, all you knuckleheads out there, it's Eric Lima here, you're watching my YouTube vlog. Where my sentimental thoughts come from the heart, mental eyeballs, shenanigans come from the brain, it's EML77 TV, episode 680, what's going on? The reason why I set, it's called everyone knuckleheads is because uh, my next list is a top 20 list. On my personal top 20 favorite Three Stooges shorts. That's right. If you're a hardcore Stooge fan like I am, you probably know all the, the funny lines and all that. Um, I used to watch Three Stooges back in the day uh, on reruns with my um, good friend Stephen Horn, uh, who just turned 40 today. He's one of my good best friends. But he's recoup um, he's uh, getting himself clean. He's been through a lot in his life. So I wish him the best of luck. And I pray that, you know, he gets the help he needs. He's a good friend of mine, and I and I like him. So, anyways, um, so I've been like I said a Three Stooges fan since I was a kid. My father introduced them to me back in the mid '80s, and I figured we'd have a lot of fun. Um, I figured I have a lot of fun, and I have a top ten twenty list of my personal favorite Three Stooges shorts. And here they are. I will uh, run them down for you quickly, as as good. As well, well as I can, and I'll tell you why each of them st stand out to me. Um, mm. Number 20, violent is the word for curly. Now, uh, three students get mistaken for uh, three professors, and, you know, Mo Howard's got this uh, uh, business called Super Service. And um, the, what's, the, the what stood out in this uh, in this short was the alf swinging the alphabet. B A B A B E B B I B I B I B I O B O B I B I O B U B O B I B I B O B O. I used to ask my father to sing that to me when I was a kid growing up because I thought it was a funny song and that would make me laugh and put me to sleep. You know, make me think of hockey thoughts. So that's one of the reasons why I liked it. So that's what, I didn't know that came from the Three Stooges until later on. I didn't even know that. Of uh, goofs and saddles, I do believe this one was the. Uh, bu no, Buffalo Billy, Billius, Wild Bill Hiccup, and Just Plain Bill. <laughs> that was even uh, uh, and, uh, and I think I and I do believe that was the one with the with the, with the, uh, the car deal uh, with the car dealer. There it was, it was the card uh, the card player the poker poker cards. Whatever. Well, it was really funny. It was the names, you know, uh, Buffalo Billius, Wild Bill Hiccup, Just Plain Bill. So. Um, number 18, boobs and arms. Now, y'all, get your dirty minds out of the gutter. You know, boobs back then made very dumb people, which were the Three Stooges are. Um, <clears throat> and uh, the fun part about that was, uh, my favorite scene in that movie is when they got bombed by the laughing gas, and they started cracking up laughing. You know, and all of a sudden there's another one. Um, everything happens, the poor sergeant, everything happens to me. Because they all thought the Stooges were... Have an affair with his wife and everything, all that, and uh, you know. And then there was the um, the whole thing that I did on for the dream house, you know, around like one cell, two cell, three cell, Sam Bucker, Trigger, Tibber, and Tams, Scram, Band, the Buckshot Man, Esau, Buck Out. That was from Three Students, Boobs and Arms. That's number 18. Number 17, you Nazi spy. Now, possibly a controversial episode back in the day because, you know, I think back in those those times we had World War II, we were in Germany and all that. And Stooges made uh, who were Jewish, ironically, made fun of uh, Adolf Hitler and you know the moronica for morons. Um, the, 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 you know, if you if you see that one and I'll, and their sequel, I'll never heil again. And see the, like the maps and everything else, and had give a damn. I ran, he ran, she ran, and all that. They 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 really made fun of the, you know, the black time that you make fun of anything without getting in trouble for. It, but I like the part where he goes, yeah, 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 man. And Larry goes, hallelujah. And Mo pokes him in the eyes. It was hilarious. So that thought was pretty funny. So I thought, <clears throat> that's number 17. Number 16, hoi polloi. They're trying, you know, two guys, you know, <clears throat> the Stooges were trying to, uh, you know, make a living, try to um, help fix cars, wash cars and all that. <clears throat> they told, ran to two rich guys. They goofed up on them and said, hey. Listen, we're going to make you, turn you into gentlemen. And, it, you know, so they said, okay, fine. You know? <laughs> it's like you know, Curly didn't want to do it because he didn't want to look at his children in the face. And I like the part when they tried to get the Stooges to read. And they made the joke, oh, see the deer. Does the deer have a little go? Why, certainly, two bucks. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. 
It was funny, two bucks. And he goes, can you spell cat? Slightly, sell it. Cat. K-I-T-T-Y. Pussy. <laughs> Curly. And then I was, it was, it dur- and during their first, uh, you know, soiree into, <laughs> you know, Curly gets, Curly gets whacked with a spring and he, every time he dances, he bumps and all that and, uh, you know, Curly hides the champagne and all that and just has Curly's first dance party. It was totally crazy things. Three Stooges in a society, a high society dance and party. It was the most hilarious thing ever. It just, uh, it was just, it's just totally hilarious. Um, so that's, that's my, uh, favorite. Hoi polloi. Number, number 16. Number 15. Punch drunks. Curly is KO Stradivarius learning the boxing after he knocked out some of Moe's fighters and knocks out his own boss, puts him on the apron. But along the way, he's got a beautiful woman as his girlfriend. Moe's, like, boxing and women don't mix. And the only thing that powers Curly up is a uh, pop goes the weasel. Larry tried to do it, but his re- violin gets wrecked. So what do you do? You go out and find a radio that plays that song. A small radio played. That didn't work because it goes fuzzy, wasn't but So, and then he hears the song again. It was in a truck. Uh, it was blaring over the horns. And some guys want to speak and say something. So, anyways, uh, Larry grabs the, grabs the truck, knocks the guy out, and crashes through the arena with it. Curly ends up beating Killer Kill Duff for the heavyweight championship of the world. That's number 15. I like that one. Uh, number four, hold that line. This is the uh, first episode with Shemp in it that I liked. Um... It was the funniest thing ever. Uh, they were trying to get um, Ichabod Slip, who's probably swindling stooges out of their fortune. So, and uh, they encountered a lot of crazy things, like the lion and all that. And uh, and they end up getting the uh, the uh, their inheritance and the cash and the money. So it was, it was really uh, good. So um, I like the uh, the little rap that him and Larry did before Mo smacks them both. We'll get that filthy looker, the moolah, the geese, no slipping guy, any slip is ever gonna cheat us. A zoo, a zo, a zo, whack, let's go. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Uh, that's number 14. Number 13, a pain in a pullman. Johnson! Oh! oh! It, it was so funny. It was, it was so funny. And, it, you know, the three students, they're, they're trying to, you know, go, go on and get on the train. Uh, put that monkey in the baggage car, and they had to deal with the, uh, with the male diva, Paul Payne, the heartthrob, of millions. What's a hot throb? A pain in the neck. <laughs> that was really funny. So I like that one. That's one of my favorites. Uh, number 12, disorder in the court. Now, um, Gail Tempest is on trial for the murder of Kirk, Kirk Robin, but the three Stooges were, were the Stooges, the boys were main key witnesses to stopping this, uh, to prove her innocence, I should say. So anyways, they found, you know, the parents like, find a letter. So the Stooges are like, there's so many letters here. And they're trying to, and they're doing, you know, they were playing music in there. Um, it was <laughs> Curly's trying, Curly's trying to sit down and uh, try to take the oath and everything else. You're in a courtroom, not Clancy, not Clancy's pool pool room. And <laughs> and then and then Mo had, you know, Curly had it was chewing gum. Mo, t- you know, judge tells him to get rid of the gum. It hits the gum hits Mo in the nose. Larry goes, "Wait a minute, I got it, I got it." He he grabs it, stomps on it. He starts screaming like Tarzan. Hey, Tarzan, you're in a courtroom, Tarzan. You're in a courtroom, Tarzan. And then the bird starts, you know, hey, there's a, there's a note attached to the bird. And the bird flies around. Curly tries stopping it with a hose. They finally manage to get it down. And it was a, it was a note left by Buck Wing. He was the one at Kirk Robin. So so Gail Thomas was innocent in all this. And then they try to do, you know, they, they try to take a picture of the whole thing. And then the curly tied up the hose, which blew up, <laughs> getting everybody wet. So that's my favorite. Um, uh, another one, another favorite of mine, uh, number 11, Horses Collars, where uh, they're trying to help Nell get her ranch back from Double Deal Decker. And uh, Curly's, uh, you know, every time Curly sees them, uh, Curly seeing the mice going crazy was the main key for the Stooges' victory over Double Deal Decker. You know, and they say, Mo Larry Cheese, Mo Larry Cheese, Mo Larry Cheese. So that's number 
11. Number 10 is the first 3D episode of Three Stooges, another one uh, featuring Shep. Pardon my backfire, as the Three Stooges were fixing, were, um, their business was at a, um, you know, the business was at a, uh, uh, garage. And the father's like, you guys, you guys can't get married or something like that until you get the money. So, <clears throat> You know, and so the boys need some money to get married. And then all of a sudden, uh, radio comes on saying that, hey, there's a gang on the loose. And then the, the same gang came in to get the car, you know, get the student's car fixed. And then all of a sudden, you know, you know, it, it came on again and everything else. So Mo says, turn off the radio. And then when Mo tries to explain it, he says, hey, it, you know, and so. When Mo recognizes them, he said, "Hey, they're the co- you know, they're the criminals. Call the cops. All heck, all heck broke loose. They finally caught. They finally beat the criminals, and then all of a sudden, <clears throat> a cop car actually pulls in, breaking down as the as their girlfriends brought, helped out, and then and so they say, oh, and then it's like perfect timing. There was the cops right there. Boom. Hey, these three escape comments on the girlfriend right over there." And then all of a sudden, the, um, the ladies say, oh, you're wonderful. And then Shemp goes, with the reward, we can get married. And Shemp accidentally kisses Mo. Mo gets upset. So that's really fun. Uh, really fun episode. So it's, it's also 3D. So you get to you know, see objects come flying at you in 3D. Another 3D episode that introduced me to the Three Stooges, actually, um, Spooks. Uh, Somebody, uh, they, uh, the boys were as detectives trying to rescue a young lady from the mad scientist who was threatening to put her brain inside a gorilla. And they were at this haunted house, and they all kind of some crazy things. And, uh, you know, they finally rescued the girl, and then so the pies were, fl- were flying at um, them by the gorilla that, that the, as the gorilla was loose. And that's what introduced me. That's what I first started watching the Three Stooges, that um, episode of Spooks. So it was also a 3D because you have... I'm just gonna fly that view. Um, number eight, three little beers. Um, the boys were supposed to deliver beer to a golf place, and they said, "Oh, it's for the press." And hilarity ensued when the three students attempted to play golf. It was the funniest thing ever. And they did everything. You know, they caused a lot of trouble. They stole some clothes. They, uh, you know, you know, they stole some clothes. They stole a bag of of, of uh, go- golf clubs and. They chopped down trees. They made divots and holes, and driving and driving the foreign uh, gardeners crazy. They were supposed to be in, keeping the upkeep of the whole thing. It was hilarious. Um, number seven, dutiful but dumb. Uh, the three students were held. Uh, they were photographers. They weren't supposed to take pictures. They ended up getting arrested and threatened to go to jail. But then all of a sudden, uh, they decided to grab some. Uh, you know, grab grab some uniforms to protect themselves in disguise. And Curly goes and has a fight with the oyster stew. And he's, a, he's you know, are these oysters fresh? Yep, they were fresh, all right. Uh, end up shoot and Curly ends up shooting the gun, and all of a sudden they get kicked out of the bar once again. So it, it was hilarious to see. That was one of my favorites. Was another, I think that was the first episode with Curly, and I thought it was hilarious. Number six, Man in Black. Got a sentence for you. Why I like this. Calling Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. And there's another one. For duty and humanity. Those two catchphrases, they were hilarious. That's why I like Men in Black. That's all I got to say. Now, number five, Spook Louder. Um, they were salesmen. Uh, they tried to sell uh, a weight loss machine. But then all of a sudden, the master, and they came to this other house. It's like far away. Guy must be a hermit or something like that. It was a... It, it was a crazy. It was an inventor who uh, talked about had an invention that will uh, destroy millions. And and as Graves and his bodyguard were leaving, they were uh, they were uh, inside that house. The house was like haunted and all that crazy stuff. And then you got three crooks trying to go in there and try to break in and steal something from Do- uh, Dr. Graves. And then the mysterious pie thrower. It, it was hilarious. It was. One of the most hilarious things ever, you know, and that's one of my favorites. So that's number five. 
Uh, number four, we want our mummy. Another one with the uh, crazy mysteriousness and uh, you know the uh, King Rootin Tootin and Queen Tachi Tachi. Uh, you got the alligator. Uh, you got you know the, the boys trying to rescue the professor and all that, and some crooks tried to uh, threaten the professor's life and that. Uh, the King of Rootin Tootin he was a midget, so it was hilarious. I like that one. So that was that was one of my favorite. In the Sweet Pie Pie, the Three Stooges were wrongly wrongfully convicted of a murder, they, um, but they were free because the real uh, Mickey Finland and his gang fessed up. They were free, and, but they were married, and so the three widows, so to speak, to use the Stooges to get their inheritance. And how you zombies get loose, and and so they the Stooges explained, and then and then the lawyer, the, the three ladies' lawyer said, "Hey." Listen, all you got to do, throw a party, Stooges will screw it up. But Stooges had no problem learning and adapting and all that. And then then the ultimate pie fight in the end. So that was, uh, I love the pie fights. They're my favorite parts of the Three Stooges, you know. Uh, number two, gents without set sense. Well, I got a sentence for you there. Niagara Falls, slowly I turned. Step by step, inch by inch. Now, that's a funny, funny line right there. Oh, just don't mention Niagara Falls around me. I go, Niagara Falls. Slowly I turn. Step by step. Imagine if the Internet was huge back in these days. The Stooges would be so popular it's not going to be funny. You know, we would love, I would, you know, we'd be like, Niagara Falls. And jiffing them and put them on YouTube and whatnot. You know, nowadays there, but you know, in a, in a way too, the internet has also been known to continue a, some a somebody's legacy, even though they passed on. That's what's cool about the internet. And my number one top um, top twenty personal favorite three Stooges short, Pop Goes the Easel. Clay fights, uh, artist. It was hilarious. I loved it. So the clay fight was the clay fights was was the uh, clay department. The fight in the clay department was the was my favorite. And another catchphrase. Look at the grouse. I love that one. So, if you're a hardcore Three Stooges fan, you can tell me what you have a, th- a Three Stooges short that stands out um, among that. Or you, you ch- study this list a little carefully. Or do you have one of your own? Let me know on the comments. I really do appreciate hearing from you guys. And, uh, so, so that's it. So that is all the time that we have. I have here. Episode 680. Uh, it's complete. My top personal top 23 Stooges shorts, and I will um, see you guys on episode 681. It's been uh, been a slice, but you know what? I gotta go. So I'll see you in the next episode, 681. All right. Bye.